In addition to the println and print methods, there's also a printf method, which allows you to do formatted console output. For example, system.out.printf, you pass in a formatted string and a comma separated list of arguments. The formatted string is a string that contains text and may also contain special formatting specifiers such as percent %s for strings, percent %f for floating point numbers, and percent %d for integers, and the d stands for integer decimal. And the arg list is optional and it's a comma separated list of arguments that will be formatted according to the format specifiers. So let's check out printf. Now I'm going to show you guys how to print out integers floating point numbers and strings separately and all in one statement. So let's try out printf by first creating a few variables. String name is Joe and int age is 21 and double um, his bank account balance is $450.00. 37 cents. That's his balance. So let's print out his data using printf. System.out.printf. Hello, percent %s. Quote. And in the args, I'm going to replace that with the word name. And this is what's happening. It's going to say hello. And then exclamation mark. But right before that, there's a percent %s. So that means it's looking for a string to be plugged in there and name is your string so this is a, basically a placeholder to display the name so when I run this program it prints out hello Joe similarly let's do the age system.out.printf you are percent and because age is an integer we use percent %d you are percent %d years old and replace args with age. Now it's gonna print out, oops, I have an error, let's see. Forgot the semicolon, very common mistake. Run the program again. Hello Joe, you are 21 years old. It put these all in the same statement because printf doesn't take you to the next line so you can add a backslash n at the end of each statement to do the carriage return. Now it says, hi Joe, or hello Joe, you are 21 years old print out his bank account balance. System.out.printf you have percent %f for floating point numbers backslash n quote comma and that's going to be the balance. Let's print this out. Hi Joe, you're 21 years old. You have $450.37 and it looks a little bit strange and it doesn't look like currency but I'm going to show you guys how to quickly format this. So what you could do to make it two decimal places is stick a dot two between the percent and the F. Run it again and that looks a little bit better. You want a dollar sign in there, stick a dollar sign there before the percent and that looks a lot better. You have $450.37 and it prints out the balance. So you, we use percent %s for strings, percent %d for integers, percent F for floating point numbers and we can do this all in a single line of code too. And this is how you would do it. System.out.printf Hi percent %s you are percent %d years old and you have dollar sign percent dot two f backslash n quote and then for the args I'm gonna put this on its own line it's gonna be the name first comma age comma balance so you can have as many comma separated arguments as you want where the first one goes into the first placeholder the second one goes into the second placeholder for the age and the third the third argument goes into the third placeholder for the balance. Make sure that the data types match up. So percent %s for strings, percent %d for integers, percent %f for floating point numbers. When I run this program now, it's all on a single line of text that says, Hi Joe, you're 
you're 21 years old and you have $450.37.